Welcome everybody to another episode of Football Manager 2019 with me Iflux managing Sampdoria and let's take a look at the schedule. We haven't been doing too bad, as expected we qualified for the Europa League group stage, it was awesome. We drew against Empoli which, yeah, yeah, didn't feel good, let's just leave it at that. And um, you, we just scraped uh, a win against Genoa, it was a tighter game than what I was expecting to be honest, but I was rotating the team a bit, so yeah, and now we're going to play against Milan, we had two weeks to rest, so we are at maximum strength and I'm feeling fairly confident because Milan, they still didn't lose, but they don't seem to be in great form. Well, I guess the same could be said about us, <laughs> but I know my team. I know what we can do. Oh, Milan was champions a few years ago. Interesting. But uh, yeah, let's go. We're playing at home. I like the team. I like the way the team is playing. I don't want Napolitano there. I want Fekir. And I much rather have Linetti there. Oh, but he's 95%. No, I still prefer him. And yeah, we're ready. Let's go. Play against 4-3-3. And who is this guy? Coelho. Oh, he's good. It's really good, actually. Biblio. He's not great. He's playing as a striker. He only scored two goals last season. <laughs> yeah, God, though this season he's starting well. Okay. Oh, what a great player. Yeah, they have a slightly better team than what we do. But um, we also have a good team and we want to win. Highlight for them or a counter for us? No, highlight for them. Not a great start. I highlight for us, so we needed a better cross there. What are you going to do, Donna Roma? Are you going to give me the ball? No? Not let Bill Blue control the ball so easily. Oh god. Oof. That was very well played by Biblio. Believe Billy Billy Oh Yeah, that's his name now. Believe you. That's it. Okay, we are doing nothing in this game. Zero. We are waiting for them to score, are we? I mean, I'm attacking, my tactic is attacking. And after 20 minutes, no shots on goal. Don't, oh, what a pass. Oof. Come on, guys, let's do something. 25 minutes. Oh, we, sh we had one shot on, tar on target. On go. Hey. Two now. Wow. Yeah, we are not playing very well. Across and they still get the. Oh, God. Mm. Come on, guys. Don't force me to change the tactic again. <laughs> Ooh, great pass, Ramush. Pass the ball to the second post. Pass the ball. He had the other guy in the second post. <sighs> Corner. Linetti. Also, interception. But it's still ours. And another corner for us. Do I see a reaction from our team after this intense domination from Milan? I need a good cross there. Great cross. Oh, we didn't win the rebound. Well played. We are playing well now. Need a good cross there, Hamush. Oh, so close. Okay, that's better. So we gave Milan a 25 minute head start, did we? Corner for them just before half time. This is very bad time to concede a goal. Yeah, but they are very dangerous, and we are not. <sighs> so 
so close. Yeah, not a great first half. Not at all. Now, why is that? Why is that? I'm going to make it slightly more direct. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Am I going to counter press? I'm going to try to counter press. Uh, let's see. Time for a substitution. I don't like my ball winning midfielder with yellow cards. I'm traumatized, so let's put Locatelli. My tactical changes didn't do much, but at least we stopped Milan from attacking, it seems. Maybe. Oh, great cross. Ramush. Oh, so close. Free kick for them. Oh, no. Oof. It hit the wall. Thank God for that. Not a great game, as we said. And I'm going to take Pires. I want to take one of the strikers. Uh, I think I'm going to take him because he has a yellow card. Yeah, Milan seems to be struggling with the, the attackers. Look, they, they are putting Kevin De Bruyne as a <laughs> center forward. I think that's our luck, to be honest. We're really playing like crap. Come on, guys. One last effort. This has been a very boring game. And look, 16 shots. Another highlight for them. Jesus. So much space. Oh. So much space. Okay, that's an easy one. Another highlight. Is it for us? Come on. I need a good pass then. Fakir, a good pass or not. Look at the, you know, pass the ball, pass the ball, faster. Nice, well played, Pires. Oh, if that ball entered the center of the area, I think we could have scored. Maybe, maybe it's, again, we have a too young team, I don't know. Except on the offense, uh, Milan is a great team. Nice pass. Are we going to do something on the last minute? No, we aren't. Ah, it's not good. Not just about the result, about the way we played. We, we, we didn't play good at all. Okay, now let's play with young boys for the Europa League. Uh, that, that didn't sound very good, <laughs> playing with young boys. It's a football team, okay? you dirty mind people i guess i thought about that so maybe i'm the dirty mind anyway we are going to play against berner sport club young boys that sounds better for the europa league i don't know how strong they are wow okay they have a player worth 10 million marlos moreno camada lowen not a bad team at all not bad team at all although they already have uh, quite a bit of years yeah they're all very experienced players okay interesting let's see what we can do i'm going to rotate the team if i can and uh, now this guy is still not 100 percent in terms of the <gasps> the match condition match fitness i'm going to play with montes de oca Felipe Romagna, yep, and Felipe Suarez, it's another yep, and I'm going to play with Locatelli, Fekir can sit this one, and Morelli as well, and that's it, uh, no, this stays, yep, let's go.
So I don't care so much losing away games in the Europa League. I much rather rotate the team. Because I do want to get um, Europe again. I want to finish top 6 in the league. Last season we finished 7, so that's the priority. So I'm going to rotate players in the Europa League. Especially in the away games. And I... I go! I was going to say, I don't rotate... Um, a lot because I only have 19 players in my squad. I like short squads and I didn't want to spend money just to have 22 players, which is normally the number I aim for, so that I can have two players per position. So we only have three central defenders, we only have three wingers and three strikers. That's why we are missing those, those players. But I'm waiting for the right ones. I'm not going to jump into any, any transfer because uh, money is not abundant. So we need to be smart in the market. Okay, this is starting well. Maybe this tactic is better for away games. Hmm. Great pass, great pass. Oh, hit the goalkeeper with the ball. It wasn't the goalkeeper that saved it. Free kick. Nice. At least hit the goal. That's something. Another highlight, okay. Nice cross. Philippe, good pass. I need a good cross now. And it didn't happen. Ooh, we need to punish them. Yes! Oh, offside. Offside. But we are playing well. Maybe Milan was just too strong for us. I wasn't happy the way the team played against Milan. If you recall from uh, my comments on the episodes of the previous season with Sampdoria, I was like, uh, I was very disappointed with the way our team played against the stronger teams like Milan, Juventus, Inter, Napoli, etc. And that's why I changed the tactic. I didn't change the formation. I'm going to insist on this formation for the foreseeable future, but I will tweak everything else. The roles, the... Ooh, the philosophy, the mentality, and all that stuff. And sometimes it seems to be better, sometimes it doesn't. For example, this game, look at this total domination. And the young boys don't have a bad team. Another highlight for us. Let's see. Philippe, he is a good passer of the ball, but Oka didn't do well. Patient build up, which I don't really understand because high tempo. See, high tempo. So maybe I, I should do it slightly more direct. Then it changes the tempo. I don't know why playing direct increases the tempo, but okay. Nice. Well played, Oka. Well played. Very well played, I should say. This was a good pass from Philip. Philip makes awesome passes. Look at this pass. And Oka anticipated well and did a great pass. Very well played, guys. Free kick. Ooh. Hit the top of the bar. Excellent first half. Look at these stats. Excellent. And they are not too bad. They are not too bad. So I'm, I'm quite surprised. And I rotated the team a lot. How many players? One, two, three, four, five. Five players that are not normal starters in the team. So it's like half of the team. Another highlight. Second half just started. Is number three coming? Diogo Mocatel. Oops. He almost got tackled. There's so many players in, at the attack. Philippe. Oh, a nice save from the goalkeeper. Nice 
Okay, this is a one-way game. Time for a refreshment. Back leaves because he's too tired. Shall I take Diogo? Yeah, I want to put Fekir, I want to keep him fit. Yep. And I want him to get used to play as inverted winger before his stats decline too much. And another highlight for us. Is there number three coming? Montes de Oca. It's an interesting name. Philip. Whoa, wow, that was that would be epic. And another highlight immediately after this. Okay. We're really in the mood. Just need to show the same kind of determination and quality. Great pass. Oka, come on. I was saying we need to show the same level of performance in our own league because I really don't care about the Europa League to be completely honest although they do give money and good reputation time for another sub I guess Locatelli come uh, mm. No, Pires and Ohamush rests a bit. Corner for us. Yes! The amount of goals we scored from corners, it's amazing. I spent years, I mean game years, really not being successful at all in set pieces. And then those small changes really yield so many good results so far. And now it's the best time to play football manager because there's a, probably no more patches or updates so the match engine is is going to be stable for the next few months and it's been already for a few months i think i don't remember exactly when was the last update but i think it was a while ago and um what this means is that we can really enhance our tactics so we get more experience with this the way the ai works so we can customize our tactic better to counter the AI so yeah I like to play around this time July August September until the next version comes out very comfortable win one-way game and uh, we still didn't lose this season for official games did we yeah we played one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 10 games undefeated. Next to Dinesi Nap. Ooh, Nap. Yeah, I'm going to play this offline probably. And I'll probably come around here when we play against Inter. Yeah, end of October probably around here. Yep. Yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.